Now this is a classic example of why you do fence patrol at least once a week. I can tell you two male animals most probably had a disagreement, bent the pole, gave it the horns once or twice and then strutted off to the females to show his dominance. Now in South Africa it is regulation to have a fence at least 1.8 meters or 6 feet high. We have fences up to 8 foot high for our more agile antelope. Now, Looking at this fence, you can see it's got a double strand barbed wire uh, on a few places. This is the central impact zone. This is what we call jackal wire. It's to keep the jackals out and a small game in, but it's going to change. Regulations will acquire or require you to have uh, at least 800 acres before you're allowed to fence this. Now, for central support, they use a binding wire, which comes from the bailing machines. It's readily available. What they use here is overhead power cables. That was redundant. They bought them as scrap metal. It gets uh, detangled and they cut it to the necessary lengths and it's used for, for central support. We are here on Cheryl's farm, checking the fences quickly. Um, the importance of fences on this farm is, is, is extreme because there's a big antelope um, roaming around here. I came across this piece of wire that broke down here. Now this is not a problem for big antelope, but it's definitely a problem for stuff like jackal and, and, and small vermin that can cause havoc to small animals. Um, to fix this, you're going to have to replace the whole length of fence. That's made out of, out of steel wires. The reason for this wire is when you pull it, it doesn't break. They use droppers. These ones are not actually here to keep the fence up, it's to keep it straight. On Cheryl's farm, there's actually three farms. They lifted all the fencing inside the farm. They only have the outer um, fencing for the game to roam free. As you can see the difference between this fence and the fence we just saw. This one is not actually for keeping game at bay, it's for keeping the domestic animals and the, and the cattle to one side so that they don't enter the, the area where the game are. This is a cheap, um, low-maintenance fence that doesn't need a lot of attention. 